Good morning. I am honored to be here. I am Andrew Rutherford, a Veteran Service Officer for the State of Maryland and with Maryland Department of Veteran Affairs. I am here on behalf of the Governor, Mr. Larry Hogan, also Maryland Secretary of Veteran Affairs, Mr. George Owings, and our Director of Maryland Department of Veteran Affairs, Mr. Philip Munley. Mr. Munley apologizes that he cannot be here today and has asked me to speak on his behalf. From all of us, we thank each of you for your service to this great country, and we acknowledge all the contributions and selfless service that you have made throughout your time in the military. And I'm here today to hopefully leave you with some information that will benefit you and your family. There are five main programs uh, within the Maryland Department of Veteran Affairs. The Outreach and Advocacy Program, the Maryland Veterans Trust, the Charlotte Hall Veterans Home, Cemetery and Memorial Program, and the Service and Benef Benefits Program. We will start with the Outreach and Advocacy Program. The Advo this program runs our website, veterans.maryland.gov. This site is very beneficial to you and right on the main page has all the information you need about these five programs. Also, the main page is pop-up screen where you can enter your email or subscribe to our newsletter. This newsletter is sent out bi-weekly. It contains information from federal, state, and local agencies and has information on veteran-related events happening around the state of Maryland. Next, the, uh, the Maryland Veterans Trust Program. It's a nonprofit program designed to help veterans with temporary assistance such as mortgage, rent, utilities, and things related to that. Some things that the program does not cover are speeding tickets, credit cards, taxes. To meet the criteria, you'll have to be a Maryland resident for at least 24 months and have an honorable or, or general under honorable conditions discharge and meet other financial guidelines. The veteran will have an interview prior to the application being submitted and if approved, the assistance will be paid directly to the vendor and not to the veteran. To date, for this fiscal year, Maryland Veterans Trust has issued over $230,000 in grants to veterans in need. If you need more information on this program, I can assist you in getting the point of contact. Moving on to the next program is the Charlotte Hall Veterans Home. This home was established in 1985 and is located in St. Mary's County. They have 168 beds, uh, private, semi-private in their assisted living program. And the assisted living program has on-site physicians, dining, counselors, housekeeping, and other amenities. There is an additional 286 beds in the skilled nursing program, and they have 24-7 medical care, lab and radiology, social workers, caseworkers, and they have a memory care unit and a secured unit as well. Next, Maryland has a cemetery and memorial program. The state of Maryland and the Maryland Department of Veteran Affairs is honored to offer veterans and their eligible dependents a final resting place. We have one of the largest cemetery programs in the nation and we manage a total of five cemeteries throughout the state. They are located in Prince George's County, Anne Arundel County, Dorchester County, Baltimore County, and Allegheny County. The last program I work uh, going to get to is the program that I work in, which is the Service and Benefits Program. This program has several veteran service officers like me who work throughout the state of Maryland, and all are federally accredited. I'm assigned to Howard County, and I work with Fort Meade. My office is located in Laurel, about 15 minutes away. We are knowledgeable on all types of benefits that you could be eligible for, and we work with and we work as the middleman between you and the federal VA uh, to ensure that documents are su submitted accurately and timely. And some benefits that we can help you apply for are compensation disability, veterans pension, survivor pension for dependents, and other educational benefits. Um, to date, uh, within the first quarter, uh, we have filed uh, a total of 838 claims, generating over $1.5 million in revenue in new claims and over 8.6 in retroactive payments. For retirees who did 20 or more years of service, um, if your rating comes back at 50% or more, you'll be automatically enrolled in the Concurrent Retirement and Disability Pay Program, which will allow you to receive your full VA comp as well as your retired pay as well. An additional benefit that's out there uh, for retirees, regardless of 20 years or not, uh, is CRSC, which is Combat Related Special Compensation, and this program 
or entitlement is uh, designed uh, for combat related disabilities. The application is submitted through your branch of service, uh, so they do not always follow the same guidelines as the VA for determining what is combat related or not. Uh, it's important just to note that you can only receive uh, one of these um, entitlements, either CRDP or CRSC. So I threw a lot of information uh, at you about our benefits and services. Um, and I'd be happy to assist you in the future. Um, if you need uh, any additional questions, feel free to reach out. Uh, my email is andrew.rutherford at maryland.gov. This concludes my time, and I just wanted to reiterate how much I appreciate your service to our country, and I cannot uh, thank you guys enough. Uh, God bless uh, you and our nation, and thank you for your time today.